Earlier this morning, Army veteran Jake Larson, you just saw him, was honored for his bravery. The 96-year-old stormed Omaha Beach 75 years ago today. Think about that for a second. He says he is the last living member of his unit. Anthony Mason is leading our coverage from Normandy today. Anthony, what a story he has to tell. Good morning to you. You should. Yeah, he sure does, Gail. Jake Larson has a great life in California with nine grandchildren and 11 great-grandchildren. But D-Day was a moment that changed his life forever. And yesterday was the first time in 75 years he stepped back onto Omaha Beach. 75 years. How come I'm still alive? I'm still alive. <sighs> Jake Larson was 21 years old when he stormed Omaha Beach with his army unit. Never in my life did I ever think that I would be standing on Omaha Beach on the 75th anniversary of D-Day. It's like a dream come true, like I won the lottery. The 96-year-old vet says the beach today looks dramatically different. The sea here is clear. It was bloody bodies. What can a person say now except that war is hell? Just think of it, a, a million mines out in front of us. 2,400 rounds yeah. shooting at you yeah. at any one time. You stopped for a cigarette. I stopped for a cigarette behind that berm and my matches were wet. So I, I turned to, to my left and not three feet from me, there was a soldier. And I says, buddy, have you got a match? And he didn't answer. Uh, I looked again, and there was no head under the helmet. The soul of that boy uh, inspired me to up at that instant and run for the cliff. How does it feel to come back here, Jake? It's one of the most unbelievable things that could ever happen to me. I, I never figured I'd be even living this long. 96 years old is not chicken feed stuff. <laughs> no, sir, it's not. No. <laughs> but Larson almost didn't make it here. And it wasn't because of his age, but because of funding. Veteran organizations were going to help, but there was a problem. As quick as they found out that my service records were burned up, they dropped me like a hot potato. <laughs> but two women at his favorite coffee shop decided to raise money for him through a crowdfunding site. When they told me they were going to put that on the internet or someplace, I, I said, I'm going to get one of the chairs here and get a tin cup and sit out in front and I'll bet you I'll pick up more right outside here than you will to, for that. I said, who is going to pay money for me to go over there? Turns out a lot of people did. How did that make you feel? Well, it made me feel great because I've got a book that I didn't know if I could publish or not. Yeah. But this is going to help me publish that. And the name of the book is going to be The Luckiest Man in the World. That's how you feel. That's exactly how I feel. Heading straight towards the water? Yeah, just keep right on walking. The motto of your unit, which is on a pin on your hat, I believe. Is to the last man. You're the last man I, now. I am the last man, yes. What do you want people to know on this 75th anniversary, Jake? I, I don't remember me. Remember all those guys that sacrificed their lives for freedom that we all enjoy today. And remember, freedom is not free. No, it's not. It was his friends at the Bagel Street Cafe in Martinez, California, who started the fundraiser to send him over to Normandy. He's well known at the shop. Jake used to drive himself there six days a week. That was until he couldn't drive anymore. He's a little grumpy about that fact, but he's gr very grateful for this trip. <laughs> you guys. Oh, God, That's Anthony, crazy. that was so great. I love him saying, don't remember me. But now that you've introduced us to him, 
we will never forget him. Exactly. We will never forget him. We'll have to look for that book, The Luckiest Man in yeah. the World. I yeah. love that he considers yeah. himself that, and so many of these men who survived have all said something similar to that. You really can see amazing. why people wanted yeah, to remember be with him. Go ahead, Anthony. And remember, and remember, you guys, 96 years old is not chicken feed. <laughs> no, oh, no, God, no sir, it's not. He's still got a lot of, he's very feisty guy. I like that. I like that. A lot of spirit. Yes. Thank you, Anthony Mason in Normandy. What a great job you're doing. Thank you so much.